The world is paying more and more attention to one of the great, great chapters in human history, in human innovation, maybe the most important of all human innovations, and that is the humanoid robot, the thing, the machine that will replace human labor, physical human labor. This incredibly interesting chapter is led right now by Tesla, by the famous Tesla Optimus, the humanoid robot version 3 that is secretly in the works. Not so secretly, but secretly in the way that no one has seen it and it has not been presented to us. Now, in that great race for domination in this incredibly large and exciting new industry, Tesla has the lead, but we just learned from Elon in the earnings call of Tesla that they have pushed back the Optimus presentation from what some expected November 6 this year, in a couple of weeks, to Q1, the first quarter of next year. And I think I know why they did that. I think I know why they did that. And in this video, we are going to dive into it, look into why this is happening, why Tesla and Elon have an incentive to actually not show us the Optimus version 3, which will be the scalable the real version, the commercial version, and why it's very important that they show it to us at the latest possible point. And of course, we are going to discuss the implication for Tesla stock. So here I have a quick overview for you guys uh, of some of the competitors. So you get a little bit of a feel that there is a lot going on. So Tesla Optimus Alternatives and Competitors, this is from March this year, so it's already a little outdated. But of course, these companies don't change overnight, so it's good to look at it. Nice picture. And we see, of course, figure one. This is one of the competitors, an American company led by Brad Adcock, the founder of Archer, um, Archer Av Aviation. That's a VTOL, like one of these vertical takeoff and landing electric vehicles, drones, where people can sit inside and get transported. And that's a topic for another video to actually discuss Brad Adcock. It's a very, very debated founder. Some people say they're doing a great job. Other people say Brad Adcock gives them Trevor Milton vibes of Nikola fame, who was not a great founder. And I have my own thoughts on it. That's a different video just for you guys. Don't just go off of vibes, but do some research on Brad Adcock. And of course, we have Archer. Look at Archer and look at the competitors of Archer. There's one bigger competitor of Archer and how they approach engineering. And that tells you a little bit about Brad Adcock and figure one. And that helps us then to understand how dangerous are they to Tesla as a competitor? How serious are they as a competitor? But as I said, we will have a different video. We will compare three major competitors with each other. So here's another one, Agibot A2. This is from the Chinese startup Agibot. And this is an interesting little robot. Then we have Aptronic, another American one. I'm not bullish on Aptronic. Aptronic is a corporation with no real founder just a corporate CEO and his bunch. And normally these people can't get anything done. So you need an iconic founder on top. Otherwise you can't invent these new things. So Aptronic is in the race. Of course they have great engineers, care technology, but they have a leadership problem. We have Unitree. That's another very strong Chinese startup. I have also my doubts, but it doesn't matter. Agility, robotics, digit, uh, another one and so on and so forth. Hey, Creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. And we actually see uh, here they list all these guys, but there are more. There's, for example, One X Technologies from Norway that I think is a very, very serious contender that came a little bit out of left field and is now getting a lot of funding and also relocating into Silicon Valley. Why am I discussing all these competitors? Right? Why am I discussing all these competitors? Well, it's important because it informs a little bit what Tesla is doing. And it, you know, informs us a little bit why Elon decided, here's a Tesla Radi article from September, why so far no one has seen the Optimus V3 design, the new design, even though we know that this design exists, that it's in full development, that Tesla is putting a lot of resources now behind this design, and that Tesla is even instructing its Chinese suppliers to start scaling the production of that unknown robot here, the version 3. This is not the real version 3, no one knows it, but there are tons and tons of updates from that. And, you know, people have, of course, posted pictures like that. Here, this is very important, the paradigm. 
uh, to understand how we think around Optimus V3. Why is this picture important? It tells us what SpaceX did. You know, here you see the rocket engine, version one, version two, and now the version three. And you see there's an incredibly reduction in complexity while the performance actually goes up and up. And that is exactly what we also see with the robots. Here's version one Optimus on the left side, version two in the middle, and then the speculated version three. But it will follow the same design principle. You want to get complexity down. You want to get it commercial. You want to get it supply chain ready. And you want, of course, to maximize the performance. And Elon commented on this. Oops, what is this? Elon commented on this. We haven't shown Optimus V3 yet. It is sublime. The second two images are version 2 and 2.5. So this is actually not version 3. It's version 2.5. No one has seen version 3. And that is from September. So, you know, roughly one and a half months old. Okay, now I get to my reveal and explain to you guys what's happening. If you put this whole picture together, here is the reason. Different from EVs, where Tesla has no real competition. And people contest that, but the Germans are dead in the water. The Japanese are dead in the water. The Americans are dead in the water. Everyone is dead in the water in the EV competition. There's only China. And in China, they have a profitability problem. They have all kinds of problems on the EV side. So the cat is out of the bag on the EV side for Tesla's technology. And Tesla can just launch the cars. When it comes to these robots, it is the first time in human history that anyone, each of these companies, is pushing forward to that humanoid solution. And there are lots of questions that everyone has to answer. How do you design, design the hands? Is it an actuator-based system? Or like 1X Technologies, a different tendon-based mechanism? So long story short, you have to innovate the heck out of these robots. There are tons of questions that no one has the answer to. Everyone is speculating. Everyone is just trying, trial and erroring their way to success. And of all these trial and error people, Tesla is the juggernaut in the middle, which means Tesla has trialed and errored tons and tons of things into this robot with billions and billions spent on this robot. While at the same time, the competition is hot and these people are not dumb and these people are watching Tesla. And at the millisecond, this Optimus V3, which is the final version, this is the commercial version that will be scaled. We know that from a lot of hints that Elon has given us. We know it from leaks from China, from the suppliers. This is the real deal. And the last thing you want is to allow your Chinese competitors, but even 1X and especially figure one, the last thing you want is to give them insight into how your thing works and looks and functions. And you want to push that out to the very last point. Okay, this is very important. And that is my message in this video. The Optimus, the Tesla Optimus is out of the MVP trial and error phase, out of the prototype phase. We are looking at the real deal and this real deal will be revealed at the latest possible point. And the latest possible point is when everything's lined up, everything is ready to go, and it's inevitable that people see this thing. Now, this is very important and very subtle, the message with huge implications on the stock. Because as long as you are in show off mode, like figure one, they haven't figured it out, no pun intended, figure one, right? They are dabbling around. They need to constantly show their robots off because they constantly need to raise money because they don't have that much money. The same is true for 1X. The same is true for all the Chinese. With Tesla, they are far ahead. They're actually commercial and they want to do the opposite. They don't want to show it off. They don't want to show it to anyone. They want to wait to the last possible point when I say, boom. We are going into production. These things are getting deployed. Now it's going to leak left and right what Optimus is because we will deploy thousands of them. That is why we are doing the launch event now. So that is the reason why they pushed it back. It is not a delay. It is the opposite of a delay. The reason is they are production ready. They are going to show this thing very shortly before this thing will be produced. Now it might just be deployed even at thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of these things inside Tesla. But once you deploy that many, they will leak. What does it mean for the stock? I think the year 2026 will see the biggest acceleration we have ever seen in the history of Tesla. And you know what happened in 2020? The stock basically five-folded. I'm not saying we are five-folding in 2026, but it's definitely possible. And more importantly, the year 2026 will be the year of inflection for AGI and also for humanoid robots 
even though no one expects it right now and everyone thinks that's taking another decade. People will be wrong, mark my words. So I would be very excited for that Q1 demo and I think we're in for a surprise. And I also think it's going to be late Q1 for exactly the reasons that I mentioned. And from there on, we will see a lot of action. So stay tuned. We are going to cover the humanoid story more and more on this channel. I think it's tremendously important for Tesla stock investing and trading, but it's also important for the age of AGI that we cover at pioneerlands.net. Go to pioneerlands.net with the greatest community of people and pioneers who want to build and thrive in the future of AGI. These humanoids are a central component of this whole game. It's very important to follow. So I hope that was interesting and see you very soon.